you know that guy that does the honest car reviews or is that what it's called i don't remember never really watched many of his videos nothing against him don't need an honest review i know they all suck today we're gonna do uh old boys honest shoe review you hear me i don't know if it's just me i don't like spending money on anything uh shoes especially when i just ruin them for like a living i don't like spending money on food or fuel or anything but i gotta say i'm kind of getting old not old but like hurt hurting broken my back sucks i have a tumor in my left foot newsflash it's not getting smaller so man i i don't like spending money on shoes but i almost need to now check these rigs out some shit whip 3000s i think that's literally the name right here from the walmarts here are 13 beans i was a big fan of their seven dollar slip-ons but they're flat i can't do it I'm gonna say these little fucking whips beep shouldn't swear ah. better than some slippers maybe i don't like walmart i don't like going anywhere especially walmart I got these 30 microfibers for 10 beans you know damn skippy we bought a couple of course you can't leave without a volkswagen golf why they sell a Euro Golf in America is Matchbox in Europe. Who cares? You know damn well. Here, boy, picked up a twofer. Eh, I don't know. We'll see how she do. I, I thought this was a work truck. I was wrong. Check this one out work truck dash no 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 work truck dash yeah fucker she's a diesel and it's stick that's pretty cool I guess in today's shoe review, we're gonna build a motor, I guess. Uh, it's a friend's car. She wants to drive it to madness. Not next weekend, but the following. It has a cab, a 1.5, naturally aspirated five speed diesel in it. Uh, it did okay, needed glow plugs, probably a timing belt. The coolant was very rusty, wasn't cooling. Uh, so we're gonna freshen it up by replacing it because it's a 1.5. Uh, I've got a 1.9 AHU or a 1Z out of a, like a Mark III or a Passat B4. Uh, it's got a mechanical pump on it I set up. It's from a Land Rover, whatever. I got it from, uh, I got it from Will Smith but not that one. Uh, had it running, had it in another rabbit, pulled it out, did something else, whatever. So, 
I guess I'm going to time lapse it and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, right? I gotta go find an engine mount. Uh, as you can see, I don't know, if, maybe not all of you are familiar with these motors, but uh, the Mark I chassis uses a mount that connects to the injection pump pulley, I mean uh, bracket for the diesels. Obviously on later diesels, they do not use that because they did not come in Mark I's. Uh, so you gotta use gas job or cut up your diesel ones. I don't wanna pull that one five apart. You know, it was a good running motor. Too much apart, I'm not pulling the pump off of it. So you can see this block actually has the holes for the stock stuff to bolt right on. So in theory, I mean, you could throw a 1.5 or 1.6 pump on one of these CDIs with a stock bracket. I don't know that it would bang off. It would look neat. I, I don't know. But you can run a gas job mount. I, ha I think I have one in the shed somewhere. So I'm gonna have to go find that. Uh, it is hot out today. Uh, so I think I'm just going to try to focus on getting the motor in the car. Uh, I'm, maybe I'll screw with it some more tonight. If I do, I'll probably video some. I don't know. I think I'm going to get it in the car and then, you know, I'll film it, whatever. But uh, I'm not going to worry about axles and all that stuff right now. Uh, then I might take the dog swimming. I don't know. We'll see. So this is the mount I was talking about. This is a gas motor mount, uh, passenger side. Came on every Mark I gas job ever. If you notice, there's a little bit of height there. So some people, I've seen people cut those off, weld them back on flat, too much work. People flatten them in a vise, too much work. People this, people that. Just throw some damn washers behind it. It ain't going anywhere. I have literally, look at me, I'm shaky as hell. I've even just tightened it down. And uh, you know, it's always fine. But as you can see, like I was saying, uh, slides right on. You can see the variation in height. But uh, yeah, the motors are all pretty similar. There's a lot that uh, is pretty similar on it. So to set, to set up a, a mechanical pump from a Land Rover on these, the timing, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Not impossible, kind of pain in the ass. Uh, so it's a Land Rover pump from a 300T or some something, I don't know, some three liter, but the pump is on the opposite side of the motor and uh, therefore the timing on it is 180 degrees out. Uh, so I use a Mark IV, that's pretty common. I use a Mark IV ALH stock EDC pump gear set inner and outer but when you pull the when you pull the gear set off not the outer the inner you know you you kind of lose timing entirely so you actually have to use a dial indicator and set it to 1.46 millimeters of lift duration on cam lobe one which on this pump is 180 degrees out from where you would time it on a land rover i guess uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Like I said, uh, it's a little tricky just to hold the shaft in spot. There is actually a lock on the back of the pump where you can run a bolt in and it will lock down on it. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to use that. I have had luck using it. Uh, so, you know, do that with what you will. When I had this in the, the truck that it was in, um, I ended up having a failure with the injection pump. It actually spun timing somehow and just started chugging away. I'm not exactly sure what was going on there, but I, I later redid it on the floor and got it running and it seemed to be okay. So hopefully everything goes pretty straightforward. If not, we'll be figuring it out because it's driving 1200 miles in two weeks, hopefully. So we'll see. Uh, I had it set up before with 
uh, earlier rabbit accessories, um, which I do not think I'm gonna do again. I think I have an ABA outside that I'm gonna rob the, the stuff from, just make it a little better, a little more modern. Uh, but I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. Like I said, I'm gonna get it into the car and then kind of try to plug away at it. Uh, I'll be making a downpipe and a haphazard little exhaust. And then I have to make an intercooler delete. I have to put an intake on. I'm not gonna put an intake on yet. Uh, and you'll see why when I go to put it in the motor, I mean in the car, but uh, the motors are pretty similar. You know, there is not too much variation between all the early IDIs. You know, it, it's a TDI but it, it's still the same thing. Glow plugs change a bit, injectors are changed, but with the mechanical pump on it, you know, they're basically just the same thing. Same, same, but different, still same, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. I got the motor in. Uh, struggled a little bit with the insert on this side, which I've been known to do. Uh, sometimes it's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, for any of you doing the TDI stuff, ALH, eh, it's hard to see. ALH, AHU, all of them, that mount bolt that comes through the car gets pretty close to the timing belt, but I've never had an issue with it. Uh, so take, take that as you will. Still one mount missing yet. Got to do the rear. Uh, unfortunately, it was broken when we pulled the other motor, so. I might have one, I don't know. Uh, I am absolutely way too hot for this today. Um, I'm gonna continue with it, but I'm not gonna continue with it right now. I'm just gonna let this hang out. I'm gonna take the dog swimming, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I will be coming back to it later, but uh, huh, yeah. Just another day. What's the matter, buddy? Best he's probably ever been in a car. Man, does this boy get excited. <laughs> I ain't even throw the ball yet. Here you go, dummy. Big old rat dog. Come on, buddy. Get a little sketched out bringing them down here sometimes. I mean, it's Florida. There is alligators everywhere. And he would make for a nice little snack. Okay, guess I won't throw the ball for you. That was fantastic. Big old dummy. It's about to thunder. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it cools it down a little bit. It's cooling down a lot now. Probably because it's about to absolutely ruin everything. Florida. So, uh, screwed around for a little bit. Didn't really do too much, put the starter in. I don't know if that was in already. Haphazardly wired it, put an intake on. Uh, yeah, so, stuff the battery in it. Let's see if she whacks off. Ooh, bad term. We'll see. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter if we're in gear, huh? There's no trans hooked up. Ooh. Sad battery. Okay. 
we'll resume. Okay, came back. I forgot the fuel lines, so I did those, primed it with their little stupid boat pump thing. Should not be there. Don't, please don't do that shit. Uh, set it up so we could be out here and try it, so let's see what she does. I guess I, I don't I guess not everybody knows how these work uh, I take that for granted so a diesel a mechanical diesel mainly there's a few different variations this is a Bosch rotary VE pump uh, you know a lot of things came with them early early 12 valve Cummins came with them Peugeot's came with them uh, uh, everything so with these Bosch pumps you have one wire that runs to the pump uh, nice. Uh, that's just a switch, 12 volts. So when it's switched on, it opens an electromagnetic switch that that plugs into and lets fuel through the pump, through the delivery valves into the injectors. So then you have glow plugs. Uh, you know, glow plugs are fairly necessary, um, especially on these Volkswagen diesels. Some Mercedes diesels don't necessarily need them. Uh, the Cummins certainly doesn't have glow plugs at all, so they don't need them. Uh, that's, again, just switched. You know, they glow for 30 seconds or so on some sort of timer relay, uh, and then they shut off. All it does is heat up a cathode-type deal that's into the fuel chamber. When fuel atomizes and goes by it, it heats the fuel up, helps it combust easier. Uh, and, and I know everybody, most everybody knows this, but... so. To run one of these, you literally only need 12 volts to that and to set up the starter. So I'll show you again. I'll start it right now. Now, you obviously won't be able to hear me because it'll be running. But when you watch, I'll pull that wire off and it'll quite literally just shut the whole engine off. Obviously, you got to have power to it first. But So check this shit out. Is that so just a little bit of you know diesel dumb shit 101 for anybody who cares it's a cool little car i think it's definitely deserving of a nicer little motor not that there was really anything wrong with the 1.5 but give it a little break give her a little pep in her step yeah so i guess thanks for watching another stupid iteration of the day in the life of my dumb ass. You guys want to see something crazy? I've lived in this house for two and a half, almost three years now. And there's this light pole outside. Hasn't worked. It's like a telephone pole. Probably three quarters of the height. Maybe not. Maybe half the height. And it's had a couple lights on it. You just shoot at them with slingshots and stuff. And uh, hasn't worked. Never been able to even find the, the switch to it. And tonight I came outside and uh, it was on. I don't know why or how. Uh, it really beats me. I think the lady that... The la I know the lady that used to live here. Her name's Margaret. Y'all judge me if you want. She's still here. Not physically. Isn't that cool? Seriously. I think it's sweet. Green. Green means go, baby. And go we shall. Thanks for watching. Like, just don't even like it. I, I'm not even going to start with that shit. It just sounds tacky. I totally forgot about my shoe review. Gotta say, for 13 buccarinos. These shits are slick.